Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. Today, I find myself at Loafers Bend Park on Whitney Lake. If this is your first visit, I'd appreciate you considering clicking on that subscribe button. I've been wandering around the great state of Texas, exploring places where I can camp in my, in my motor home and giving you a first person virtual drive through of those campgrounds. So today I find myself at Loafers Bend Park on Whitney Lake. I'm currently camped at Loafers Bend West Campground because there's an east and a west. I've got the high speed mobility scooter Little Red. I've got the GoPro Hero 9. And best of all, I've got you. So let's go take a ride through Loafers Bend West. Cue the music. Several years ago, we spent one night camping at Loafers Bend East as a, as a waypoint stop coming back from Guadalupe River, I think. So I thought it was way overdue for me to give you a ride through Loafers Bend West. Now there is a common day use area and you'll be able to see the highlights of that area on the Loafers Bend West Campground experiential video. Just jump over to the COE Corps of Engineer Campground playlist on the channel or the web page on the website, COE Campgrounds. Now in all of our shuffling around, this, we've been down here for several days and three different campgrounds and this morning I was unable to find the Max Lens. It's in the motorhome somewhere. This is a pretty campground. Look right on through. Now that road right there would take you over to the day use area where it opened, or where that gate opened. Now one thing that's kind of different here at Loafers Bend West is a majority of the roads are gravel. So this is the, the day use, not day use, this is the group camping pavilion. There are water and electric campsites here. So you can bring your group out and have a rally. All the campsites are kind of hard to see, but they're back in here in these trees. And we're going to take a little shortcut. Rather than going back out the way we came, we're going to scoot right over here. Bypass the shower facility. Watch that branch. And another one. Uh oh, that one threw you off angle. There you go. All right. So we're back out on the main road. And now we're going to cruise down here. There's a couple of loops. 
this road is a little on the rough side so we're gonna have to have to kind of take it a little slow and what's of interest down here are shelters Screen shelters built out of cinder blocks, nonetheless. They do have water, they have electric inside, so you can bring a, a fan or a portable air conditioner and your own bedding, of course. But one thing I noticed is the some of these shelters have enough parking space where you could bring, like this one, you could bring a motorhome, an RV. There's not a 30 amp connection, but there's 110 inside the shelter. But of course, then if you did that, you'd have to leave the door cracked open and the bugs would come pay a visit. And that would defeat the point of having that shelter. But if you're going to get a shelter, this is definitely the one you want to have. number 18 of course there's currently someone camped there they're out on a boat and I know that because I saw their boat this morning Turned out to be a very pretty day. It's been at least four days since we had sunshine. The other two places that I, the other two campgrounds that we were camping in and I was shooting video of, don't have the best of lighting. But unfortunately, that is out of my control. cut right through here now I find this little loop here to be very appealing because I have a small watercraft and there's actually a nice big creek bay Cut, whatever you want to call it, a nice place. Sheltered from the wind on most sides. Great place to take your small watercraft and do some fishing. Ease down this really rough hill. These, uh, these rough roads and trails have taken their toll on Little Red's operating system. I found yesterday I had some broken wires on the charge line. So here off to our left is that secluded body of water. bit of a hill and a rough one at that passing the 
cleaning contractors. They've been doing a, I've got to say, they do a really great job keeping this park clean. I cannot tell you the number of deer that I have counted since I've been here. Every evening. Of course, last night there was a gentleman. I don't think he camped. He's, I don't think he's camped out, but he was over at the dump station feeding the deer. It's just an admirable thing to do, but that's actually not a really good thing to do. Especially if you're feeding them corn, as that's not part of their natural diet. It causes them to, have, just like any other, any animal, to eat too much, feed it too much corn, it causes issues. Now this campsite is actually one of my favorite campsites in Loafers Bend West. It is a semi-primitive, meaning it only there's only water here. But look at where you, I mean, you're out here on this point by yourself, but you couldn't get a real big RV down here, but you could get one down here, and there is a water faucet. All right, gotta, gotta do a little switch back in to get up this hill. Got on the paved road for just a, a brief section and then on to the rough gravel road. This will be the last one though. Oh. There again, these are these are water only sites, tent sites. But if you have a, a van. These sites are, are very inexpensive. I think they're like $9 before a pass. And if you have an, a, a, some type of national park pass, I think they're, they're down around five. But there again, you get some really nice views. a rough road. I need some shocks on Little Red. Rear shocks. I have front shocks. We can go fast. All right, so we're going to go past my camp and then we'll come back around. So 
where you can see all of it in reverse order. That's where we're set up. Now, if on my return, this is the site that I want. Check that out. You gotta pull in a site number 44. Where you can pull your motorhome straight in. Hold on, let's go back here and see this. So 44 pulls straight in and you get the view, unobstructed view. There's another one back in here. It'd be kind of difficult to get a, a big RV back here, but you can get a smaller one back in here. I believe that is a water only site. But 44 is water and electric. Look, I, I may be wrong, so don't quote me on this, but I think all the sites are 30 amp and water. There's no full connection. We'll go down here and let you see the boat ramp for my boat ramp fans. Lake is quite is up quite a bit because of all the rain we've had. And it has turned out to be just a gorgeous day. Both these sites are going to be tough for a, a bigger motorhome to get level. Or for any big RV, if you get a, if you have a trailer. Now that one, that's not too bad right there. That's pretty flat. a lot of shoreline here in Loafers Bend West, but most of it is not walk-up friendly. There's a pretty, pretty sharp drop down to the water. These are some nice sights over here, right on the water. came the wrong way. Let me turn around so y'all can get a look at that. I like that one. Number 62.
most definitely a boater's campground. the dump station ahead of us and that's where the fellow was feeding the deer last night. And those are always so much fun. I sure hope you enjoyed our little ride through. Where are we? Oh, Loafers Bend West. I sure appreciate you staying with me to this point. If if this is your first visit, please consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so very much. I am most deeply honored. That is why I get to do what I do. Why I get to go see stuff, <laughs> you know? How cool is that for a front yard? And for my patrons, you guys rock. Thank you so much. Y'all come back now, you hear?